Yeah, it's like something that, uh, you know, just to get on the bucket list, you know, um, it looks fun. Um, it's just like back in the days when I started MMA, it wasn't as popular as it is now where everybody's doing it to be cool. Back then, we just, you know, it was fun. So, you know, this is a little di different, looks a little fun. So go ahead and get a shot. Uh, I got to meet him today, man. He seems like a really cool dude. Um, big guy, looks like he's in shape and ready to go. So, uh, you know, I have uh, nothing bad to say about him, you know. It's just uh, going to battle it out and, and, and you know, it is what it is. It's nothing personal. It's always business. Um, this is a sport. This is what we do. It's not, nothing different from taking your best friend out on the football field and, and blowing them up and then helping them up and going home and being cool. So for me, it was really not a, that I was fighting. It was the the crowd, you know, just being in front of like 20,000 people and knowing that millions are watching, you know, it's more like stage fight, I guess, than anything, not, not actual the fight. So I think right here I'm pretty comfortable. It's not a big venue. Um, you know, there'll be everybody watching, but I, I feel comfortable on my feet. And um, not having to worry, like you said, about getting submitted, getting taken down and wasting all that energy trying to fight back up. And, you know, I'm pretty laid back and I get along with everybody. And, you know, from the cops in there, the COs to all the inmates, you know, I got along with everybody. Oh, it was, it was, it was like one year equal like seven, like dog years. It was like forever, you know. Um, but, you know. I got to find myself and, 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 you know, really think about life. And, and, and I did educate myself a lot on, um, you know, situations and how to get out of them and how to avoid them and how to see them coming, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I, I did learn a lot. It was, it was a really good life lesson. Absolutely not. I'm still the same person, brother. Still the same person with just a little bit more knowledge. You know, I wasn't a bad guy before, and I'm not a bad guy now, you know. So, read. You could, uh, there's a lot of self-help classes there, and that's also another reason why how I got some time knocked off. But there's there's trades, and, and there's all different types of stuff you can learn in there, you know. you They're, they're not going to let you just sit down on your bunk and rot. No, nah, nah, that's not going to happen. You're going to get up, you're going to program, and you're going to do something to better yourself. Well, a lot of people think that everybody in prison is just some scumbags and they deserve to be there and let them ride and they shouldn't do this. Man, everybody in prison is just, we're all, we're all basically one step away from going to prison. You know, it could be, it's just our brothers, our sisters, our dads, you know, their families, your neighbors, you know, it's us, you know, it's just people making mistakes and getting caught and paying the price. Oh man, that was amazing feeling, you know, my, uh, my buddy came and picked me up and took me to my parents' house where my kids were waiting for me. And uh, we sat there and ate and just, you know, enjoyed each other's company. Originally, that's what I thought. I thought I was going to tear up everything and eat everything. And, and um, you know, for the first, before I even got out, I couldn't sleep for like 24 hours. And then when I got out, I, I couldn't sleep for another 24 hours. Then I couldn't eat. And I was just like, um, it was a little bit of transitioning for me, you know. It was a little different. I'm all better now. I'm all cured. <laughs> I want to first give a shout out to uh, like my sponsors, uh, Chin Check, um, Red Wave Tattoo, uh, my my coaches, Ralph Alvarado, Rudy Cruz, my family, uh, my two kids, Bishop and Donovan Johnson, and you know every my fa my friends, family, and everybody who supported me. Man, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna give it my all just for you guys. You know what I'm saying?